All right, so um, we're going to go ahead and dispatch this to a job site, and I'm going to put a pin uh, right here on this piece of equipment. Uh, it's the one I'm going to say we're going to work on. And everybody that's got a cloud account has a, um, or everybody has a MetaQuick account has a cloud account. Just a note here, there's two that have already been dispatched to. One's a house call pro and one's a service Titan. I'm gonna actually dispatch to MeasureQuick. And so you can either scroll down to MeasureQuick Cloud here or you can just go to uh, virtuoso.measurequick.com. And so this is gonna pull up your Virtuoso account. I'm gonna go to projects. And then up at the top here, uh, it says new projects on the top right hand where it's sort of flashing that on and off. So I'm gonna click a new project. And this is where we pick the project type. So we'll say that this is a, uh, a new installation. Uh, I'm gonna assign it to myself and I'll just put new install. Hit next. And then this is the, the site. So on my iPad here, I gotta go up a little bit. So let me just go up here and put the address. So 3425, it'll automatically populate around you. So I'm gonna click Gilcrest Road. That's gonna pull up the building that we're in. So it's just the geographic center of the building we're in. Um, scroll down a little bit here, hit next. This is where I can put in the billing and, and service address. So we'll just say it's uh, MCS. Hit next. Uh, this is ACA administrative. I'm set up for ACA. You don't need to worry about that right now. So we hit next. And I can put in any information on the system design, profile, installation, site. So I want to pre-profile it and say like it's a five-ton system we're putting in. I can put in a five-ton system and add that information in. So you can set up the whole project, anything you want to put in, just like you would normally. So if it's a single phase, you know, 230, we could put all this uh, oops, single We'll just profile that electrical too. And PSC, hit save. So that's gonna save that to the cloud. And you'll notice that in the projects, once it loads here, it's gonna show that um, I have a project assigned. So now you can see it's a new installation assigned to Jim Bergman. It's a locked project. So now let's go back into Measure Quick. And all I'm going to do here is refresh my dispatch projects and it's going to pull up the uh, project in a minute so you can see this is the one that's to Gilcrest Road. Now if I'm going to a place where I know I'm not going to have internet that's where I click this button and that saves it to my device so I can see it when I get on that job site. But Now if I click this dispatch test it's automatically going to open up the project in an install workflow and um, then you can see here, uh, you know, everything's been set up, my job site. Uh, I can put my equipment pin. Now it's, again, geographic center for this equipment because I'm in the equipment. So this is where I would now drag and drop that pin down here. You can also do it on the cloud side. I could have done this in the cloud when I was uh, pre-populating the project. I'll mark the box, hit continue, and then it's complete the rest of the project. But that's how you, you, how you do that when you're, when you're all done uh, with that thing. You just would, uh, uh, well, obviously you got to unlock it, so we'll unlock it. And then uh, when we're all done, we're just going to exit and save to cloud. So let me just exit, we'll exit and sync to cloud. And then that, that's all set up. So it, you always want to start it from the cloud if, if you're not going to be on the job site, because once we're on a job site, it only searches within a quarter mile your own location. So here's that new new pin. If I tap on that, it's pulling up the this, this address. Obviously, on some of these other ones, I've renamed them. So once you put equipment information, it renames it to the uh, make, model, and serial number. And that's all there is to it.